Hello everyone and welcome back to the Swans News and I got uh, I hope everyone's having a good Tuesday. Just finished my exam so I returned home now. Uh went well if anyone's wondering, but forget the exam, Swans more important. Uh so Swansea City have uh, now reached their top six for manager. They've uh over they spoke to over sixty ap applicants who wanted the job who who or who we were interested in getting to the Swans manager role. We've narrowed that down to the top six. Three names haven't been revealed to uh the media, but this three main application three main applications who are most likely to get the Swans job. So let's get into it. Who is gonna be the next Swans he said he Toshak is a very firm favourite and we'll be having a second interview with the club. Obviously he's an under twenty threes manager. Um tactics aren't the best I've gotta say, but he did get the under twenty threes relegated, so if the uh hierarchy are looking at that then they're not gonna be impressed. But I'm gonna back up a bit I'm gonna back up Toshak here and say that we nicked basically the most players there. They used to have like some McBurney, Dan, players like that corner and we've obviously improved them into the first team and now they're obviously first team regulars and obviously they don't have that many players. Many players from the twenty threes have left Tyler Reed's gone to Charlton players like that. So the only uh, positive I can think of Tosha coming in is he'll know the players, he'll know the way he, such as Byers, uh James McBurney, how they all work and play. He'll know the Swansea style. Obviously his dad used to coach the Swans back in back in before I was born and did a decent job. Um yeah, but I don't he's not my manager, I want out of these six. Uh, he, I don't think he's ready. I don't. He's not really managed the first team apart from one game against Liverpool with Leon Brown where we lost five nil. But I don't think he'll get the job, and I hope not, because he's doing a decent job in the under twenty threes, and hopefully he can get them promoted this year. Now it'll be a tough ask, but I just don't think we should be going for Cameron Tosh, especially in the championship with teams such as Cardiff, Fulham coming down, Luton coming up, and Barnsley. It'll be a very tough league this year, so we need somebody with experience. A uh, manager, a coach, as you like to say, who's having an interview with the, a second interview with the club is Mike Lappleton. Now this guy is the guy I want in charge of the Swans. Um, since the favourites and buggies have been coming out with the managers. I've picked my favourite. My favourite's been Appleton. I think he's a decent manager. He's more of a coach in all honesty. He's done well at Oxford, got him to promote to League One. He obviously beat us, he's beat us a few times. He did the only bad uh, club I think he's been to is Blackburn where he didn't do the best of jobs, but he did he he is a good caretaker boss, if you know what I mean. Like comes in for a few games, but we need a manager now, and I think he can come and take the role. He'll be a no nonsense manager. Won't be taking any shit off of the players. So if Andre or Johnny you come back and they have shit attitudes, off they go. He will not be getting a nice word off Michael Appleton. They'll be getting hit. Well, not proper hit, but you know what I mean. So he's a no nonsense boss. He's quite physical as well, and uh, he likes to play the attacking uh, way. He, hopefully he'll be able to attract a few players. He's got a few links, obviously, to Leicester, West Brom. But I think this is the main choice I, I'd want in charge of the Swans. So hopefully the second interview goes well. And the next guy I'm going to mention, God, hope we don't get him. So the guy I'm about to mention is an absolute clown. He's so bad defensively. Gus Poyet. Yes, Gus Poyet. We're always linked with Gus Poyet. And he's having a second interview with the club. His defend his, every team he goes through defensively, they're shocking. Um, he's done. He's been to clubs like Brighton and Sunderland, and he hasn't really done the best of jobs. In all fairness to him, but I just don't want Gus Poyet near the Swans. In all honesty, um, I just don't think he'll do a good job. He just hasn't had a job in a while, a couple of years. So his tactics are going to be off it most likely. He doesn't have the best of links, and he'll probably get sacked. In all honesty, but that's the main three who's going to get the job. I think will be one of them three. So comment down below who do you want out of Cameron Toshak, Michael Appleton, and Gus Poyet. And I'm going for Michael Appleton. We have a candidate. Play people like Lee Bowyer, Charlton manager, and Darren Moore have been linked, but I can't really see Lee Bowyer coming here, especially because he's got Charlton promoting now. Can't really see Darren Moore coming here either. Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see where we appoint. Still no links between us signing anyone, so it's a bit of a crap window so far, in all honesty. But I really hope that things start kicking off soon. When we get this manager underway, I assume there'll be more transfer picks and players like that. Obviously, the lone players have returned now, all it, apart from Wilfred Bonney. Montero's back, Carroll's back, we're linked with Johnny Williams. Uh, I just say we're not signing anyone, but we're linked with Johnny Williams. Uh, so that's going to be it for the video today. Uh, Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm on 430 subscribers now, which is pretty class, i got to admit. So I'm doing like examining on YouTube, so it's better to get videos out. But I still enjoy doing them, so if you... Uh
So thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And make sure you tell me who do you want, Dr. Cameron Toshak, Michael Atter, and Gus Poet. And I'll see you in the next episode.